Sherman, gonna focus on the A, B, C, D, E process of asking for referrals. So the A is affirmation, the B is for brainstorming, C is for category, D is for develop the lead, and then E is to execute. So A, the affirmation is to be able to, I'll just give you an example. Did you find value in meeting today? Now that you've gone through the process at this point, how did you feel about our conversation today? And then once you've gotten the affirmative there that they enjoyed the process or they at least um, found value in the engagement, the next one is to say, with your permission, I'd like to brainstorm with you for a few minutes on who you think might also value from a process like this. And then the next one is category. This one's probably one of the most, most important parts in the A, B, C, D, E process to make sure that you can get an actual name from the individual. Oftentimes, you need to think about the person stores information like files when it comes to memories or um, ideas or in this particular case, people and their information. So if let's say I'm working with someone that works at Harley Davidson, I'd say, Matt, I work really well with people just like you that are married, that recently had a kid, that are executives here at Harley. Who comes to mind that I could reach out to? And now all of a sudden what happens is Matt's now thinking of specific people that maybe are married with children and that work at Harley Davidson. Another category might be is, Matt, remember how I was referred to by your friend Jim? Now Jim is self-employed. I work really well with people that are self-employed. Who do you know that's self-employed? Next step in that process is once you've gotten some names, and what I would do is I would encourage you to identify a specific number that you want out of each individual you sit down with from a referral number. For me, it was typically six. And then over time, it became five and then four. And I'd write that numbers on a, on a blank sheet of paper, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then as Matt would give me names, I'd write them down. And then I'd say, okay, now let's go back to the first name you gave me. You talked to me a little bit about Michael. Tell me about Michael. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to qualify Michael. At the same time, you might, you're trying to get some information that might be, that you can use as leverage when you decide to reach out to Michael. The E part, execute, is a way that you can get in front of this referral. So again, Matt, I appreciate you giving me these names. Would you be able to introduce these people to me either via email or by phone call? Or a more proactive approach on your standpoint is, um, today's Friday, Matt. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach out to Michael and all these other five other, you know, all these six people on Wednesday next week. If you can reach out to them, just give them a heads up that I'm gonna be reaching out to them, I'd really appreciate it. So that is the A, B, C, D, E process in asking for referrals. Have a fantastic day, everybody.